This video is just a quick preview of one of over 200 step-by-step -step percussion lessons included in our Gonga Chops membership. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and head over to gongachops.com to start your free seven-day trial and check out everything we've got on the site. Now it's time to check out another iconic solo, this time from master conguero Francisco Abella on the legendary Eddie Palmieri's Mi Congo Te Llama Medley from the 1978 release entitled Lukumi Macumba Voodoo. Now, this again will be a medium tempo track in 2-3 clave, coming in at around 112 BPM in cut time, starting at minute 908. And don't forget to download the PDF for this lesson, which you can find just below the video player window. Let's jump in. Mi Congo, mi Congo. Truly one of my favorite old school solos of all time. Beautiful feel, sound, and you can really hear the conviction he plays each note with. Awawea does an exceptional job of mixing quinto based language with pretty much everything we've talked about in this course, conveying each musical idea with incredible clarity, moving fluidly from one idea to the next. So let's do our best to break it down. After a pair of classic full band hits that lead into the solo section, the piano and bass vamp set the vibe for Awawea to do his thing. He starts off with a sparse eighth note figure on the end of four using flams, which flows naturally into his first solo phrase. He then moves on to playing the same shape using open tones on two drums simultaneously, finishing it off by altering the last bar a bit to act as the cadence. Let's check it out. Let's check that out one more time. The next phrase starts off again by using open tones played simultaneously on both drums, followed by a flam, all with eighth note upbeats. Awabea then plays a slap and bass tone before repeating the phrase one more time. Again using sparse eighth note offbeats between ideas, he plays a simple shape with triplets and eighths landing on beat one. From here, he moves on to playing a simple eighth note figure for five bars, adding some small variations to develop it as he goes. He then moves on to another simple shape using off beats, followed by a couple of simple eighth note figures. And check out how just by playing a slap on the end of three and two slaps in the following bar, he's able to connect the two open tone figures and repeat them without things sounding monotonous. Let's give it a listen. Let's listen to that again. From 
here he plays a slap on the end of three and a quinto inspired figure to let things breathe for a second and allow him to come in with a beautiful triplet offbeat phrase using muffled tones and close slaps. The same quinto inspired figure is played again as a cadence and jumping off point to the next idea. Here, Awabea plays a simple eighth note figure using the low drum to accent the end of four and repeats the open slap low drum combination as a cadence before moving on to playing a classic eighth note figure using open tones. Again, using the quinto derived slap on the end of three as a pivot point. Let's check out that section one more time. Using his most recent open tone phrase as inspiration, Awabea now goes on to playing some simple eighth note figures using slaps and open tones, varying them slightly as he goes. He then uses the last two beats of the figure to transition to his next musical idea, a super funky phrase using quarter note triplets and a closed slap flam. When he repeats the phrase, he adds a couple more low drum open tones and extends the figure using triplet off beats, finishing it off with a simple eighth note figure on the low drum that he uses to inspire a figure on the high drum. Let's check it out. Let's hear that one more time. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what we do on Conga Chops and how we can help you further your skills, come check us out at congachops.com. We've got an incredible library of step-by-step -step courses and lessons, over 10 hours of exclusive practice loops, hand-picked Spotify playlists for each pertinent course and lesson on the site, and an amazing community forum where you can meet and discuss with other members, as well as get one-on-one -on -one feedback on everything you're working on. Just click the link below to grab your free seven-day trial and see what it's all about. Now, please don't forget to show your support for our channel by giving this video a like, leaving a comment down below as far as what you'd like to see me cover next, and hitting subscribe so you can catch our new videos. I'll see you in the next lesson.